Yeah, I heard a lot of calls. The president needs to get independent people around him. And and the problem you have with that is they have no jurisdiction. They wouldn't be able to stop traffic. They wouldn't be able to do certain things. They might not have be able to carry firearms in different states. Um, so there's a real problem there. I think what you've got is a real cultural problem within the Secret Service. You know, they're, they're uh, primarily used as protection and also for counterfeit. Um, Legend, you know, for enforcing counterfeit laws, they ought to they ought to put that over in Treasury, and just decide right. this is what we're going to do. Cut some of the bureaucracy in there. I think they probably under thirty or forty people they're supposed to watch. And then with when dignitaries come in, they're with them. You know, Netanyahu. I understand all that, but but you got to ask yourself too: How was this guy able to be in the bushes for twelve hours? And if he had been a true sniper, he wouldn't have stuck his gun through the through the fence, he would have had a, a hole cut so that you wouldn't have seen it. And that's what snipers will do in a military type situation. So fortunate. Yeah. And, and again, if we'd have had somebody that was of, of some caliber of whatever, of, of terrorist, they would, right. I believe we'd be having a different discussion today. Uh, yeah. Thank God we are not. Uh, Merrick Garland weighed in on this, of course. Um, he had a news conference today on an unrelated matter. And this is what he opened with, um, Congressman. Let's play this. The entire Justice Department, including in particular the FBI, the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of Florida, the National Security Division, are all coordinating closely with our local state law enforcement partners on the ground. We will all work together to tirelessly determine accountability in this matter. We will spare no resource in this investigation. When you hear those words, what goes through your mind? Talk is cheap. He's a bureaucrat. I doubt he's ever fired a shot in anger. Um, I would, I, everything those people say, I question. I have no confidence in them whatsoever because of what I, what I know and what you all know. Mm -hmm. And so I have um, a lot of questions there. I think, though, this group is scrambling, though, because they know if Donald J. Trump is sworn in as the next president of the United States, that they're going to be looking for work, and they should be. I wouldn't. I wouldn't hire him to work third shift at the Krispy Kreme. Uh, that's saying something. Um, let's play a little bit of an ad that Donald Trump's campaign released hours after Sunday's attempt on his life. It's a flashback, and it is an important one, I think, for viewers. If you had to be stuck in an elevator with either President Trump, Mike Pence, or Jeff Sessions, who would it be? <laughs> Does one of us have to come out alive? <laughs> Chris always asks me, don't I wish I were debating him? No, I wish during high school I could take him behind the gym. That's what I wish. I mean, that's just a snapshot. Um, Kamala yeah. Harris there having a grand old time. Yeah, well, she, she's pathetic. They're pathetic, ma'am. It shows you how far this thing has fallen for them. to. They're still out making cracks. They're trying to blame President Trump for his... Or somebody coming after him. You know what? Nobody's going after any of these far lefties. It's all the conservative folks that are that are having to up their security. And there's a reason for that because the vitriol that's pouring out of Washington. Uh, this is this is very you know if it's if it's not planned, it's um, it's planned on a different level. They know if they throw enough of this out, and we know the studies have shown it just triggers somebody. One of these nutcases is going to get out and do something. And I'm, I'm very, you know, my dad fought in the Pacific in the Second World War, fought the Japanese. He had a saying. He said, buddy, if somebody's willing to take you out and doesn't mind losing their life, then you've got a problem. You and know, we're going we're gonna to have that problem because these people are triggering those folks and they know it. Hillary Clinton today, she let off a bunch of stuff. Why in the world they even stick a mic in front of her face? I don't even let's know.